What's up, y'all? I hope everybody's having a great day. I was just telling my snap. I'm gonna be posting on the story more. There are a lot of people over there. I can't keep it personal. I'm not even replying to the people around me, which I'm about to try to do actually, because that's not a flex. I just am being honest. I'm locked in. Anyways, I'm gonna reply. That being said, I was just telling my snap that as long as you're trying to heal and find happiness in this world, I do wish you the best for real, for real. Make sure you keep trying to work on your healing and find happiness and just keep yourself in a good headspace. Honestly, everything you perceive comes from here. It's up here, it's the control center. So, you know, I saw a post that was like, if your mental is your perception of reality, maybe because your mental is determining everything you see. It's like rose colored glasses or, you know, that type of thing. If no one's told you today, I'm proud of you. Thank you for being a good person. If you're a good person, thank you for being kind and having a good heart. Thank you for trying to maintain good energy and put that out in the world because it's easy to be mean. It's easy to be an asshole. It's easy to be the bully. It's easy to judge other people and shame other people. And that's the easy way out, okay? <laughs> that is the lacking accountability route when you just want to look at everybody else and point your fingers and be like well look at them look at what they look like look at what they're doing and take the spotlight off yourself but in reality you should be shining that spotlight on yourself to see what you could do better but in reality shining that spotlight on yourself makes you so self-aware that not only do you start taking accountability but you actually start working on self-improvement because you're like okay you're so in tune with yourself Anyways, I'm making myself a nice breakfast real quick. I'm going to hit the gym and I'm going to come home and make some money because I got some stuff I need to handle. I will be releasing the song on Spotify or whatever streaming platforms and copywriting it very, very soon. And yeah, music videos coming. I got a photo shoot that I'm not, I wasn't even supposed to do for real, for real. Because one, ain't nobody have 150 for a photo shoot, okay? But we won't, we found it. I already put the deposit down. We don't find it because, you know, this is the videographer that I originally canceled on. And the one who worked with celebrities and I went a different route and different style and it was cheaper. And I just, I liked the vibe for sure. But I still wanted to support with the photo shoot. And he was like, you gotta tell me a date now. Otherwise you gotta pay another deposit. I was like, ooh, all right, that's fair. However you do business is fair, but damn. Let me pick a date real quick. So I just picked something now so I can get it out the way. And I ordered some fits and stuff, which will be coming in this week. And that's just gonna be that. I'm gonna do the gas station one cause that'd be cool with a photographer. I just gotta go scout out a gas station that's not gonna be annoyed by us taking a few pictures and stuff. Hopefully they're chill about it. And I'm hoping if we do like a weekday early, nobody will bother us too much. We'll see. I need 250 in quick cash, one for my door handle, which I'll be fixing in a couple days and the other 100 for the photographer. Rent is pretty much paid off. So that's really cool, we love that. And yeah, but I'm like, um, that's it. <laughs> but I need to make fast queen, that is it. Because everything I've been handling, baby, is sure, sure pop the fuck up all at once. So I'm sitting here, I'm grateful for the groceries I have, so I don't have to go do that. I do gotta go get a charger, because mine broke yesterday while I was recording. And I'm gonna hit the gym and then I'm gonna come home and work and probably do like a cam marathon or something cause I need it, definitely need it. But yeah, I'll see what I could sell. I already sold a snap this morning, which was cool. Now I just need to sell like five more. Why not, 10? <laughs> but yeah, all right, I'll talk to y'all. I'm about to make a to-go plate and go to the gym. One thing I'm really grateful about though, I don't have any bills. Like after rent deducts, I'm good for a couple of days. So those are definitely gonna be money-making days. And I'm gonna try to take myself out for lunch and the movies later this week too. I am playing nice with the roommate. Smile, smile, smiles. Smile, smile, smiles. All right, I'm playing nice because the energy in this house is not going to be whatever it was especially during the holidays we got two more months left i will play nice i let him know about himself i let him know what hurt i'm not trying to get back together i'm not trying to do any of that i'm just here baby <laughs> like i'm just here respect me that's it Ooh. but yeah that's all y'all i'll talk to y'all Hey y'all, 
what's up? I got a new charger. It's cute. It looks like unicorn poop. If unicorns are real. If y'all don't know, I sweat really easily. Now you do. <laughs> what's up, y'all? I just left the gym. I feel so good. That was a perfect workout. I actually went in the sauna and took a shower, but it's just also hot outside. I really don't mind sweating. I think other people are more bothered by my sweat than I personally am. I feel so good. So I thought I needed to make more coin like ASAP because what was in the bank was not enough to cover what I had coming out the bank. But then I forgot I had two accounts and I put my cam deposits in the other account. So tell me why I was at the gym. I was like, I'm gonna get in a good workout regardless. Like I'm not gonna sit here and stress about money. And then I realized I had a deposit I forgot about in my account, which is why I'm always on cam. Every token counts, every coin counts. Whew, y'all, I'm so happy. Like, that was really the best feeling. I was like, oh, I still need to make 100, 200. I still need to make more because I have stuff coming up this week. But I had like a whole $200 deposit come in. And I was just like, whew. Got myself in a really mighty fine workout. And I'm feeling great. I'm trying to walk the treadmill at least every day or do some type of fitness because ain't no way I work for myself, but I'm not getting outside. I'm not trying to sit around. Oh, but I'll see y'all at the house. I'm gonna go make myself something to eat and get back to editing. I'm looking at what I was sitting on on my phone and I'm really ashamed because there's no reason that's just sitting there. Like I should have been got that up. But it's a combination of not caring about social media in the way I think society wants me to care and also living in the real world that has me so behind on content. But we catching up and it's nice to revisit. Like I'm looking back and I'm like, wow, like, I'm looking at fire photo shoots. I'm looking at adventures and all this stuff. And I'm just like, yo, you're living the life. Like, wow. Anyways, I'll see y'all at home. <laughs> I look a mess. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, I'll see y'all. Let's go. I just cleaned up my car. That's all the trash I'm about to take in. I lied, y'all. I'm not going to stop my snap. I love it too much. It's just a few people that just don't get it they just not gonna get it and that's okay but ooh, <laughs> that doesn't mean they gotta ruin it for everybody i decided to post something a little motivational this morning because that's just the mood i was in honestly i tell myself stuff like this all the time you know kind of what i was sharing earlier when i had posted too but i don't share it enough on snap it's usually a lot of twerking anyways i decided to post something a little motivational because i know a lot of people are going through it and i had a lot of people respond to that and that's so beautiful like we are really out here just trying to get by <laughs> so it's gonna be self-help and sex stuff and whether you choose to take the advice or not you know you don't have to i'm no one special i am no psychologist or psychiatrist but i'm gonna share what i'm learning and what's been helping me so yeah that was really cool i appreciate that that it was received well because i had a few people that were just like thank you for that and i was like i would okay i told y'all i've decided it's my job to heal or at least work on my healing and find true happiness and spread that love and energy to others to get them through the day. I'm cool with that. And I might not be able to do it on the most personal, intimate basis, like one-on-one -on -one and stuff, but I'm going to try with whatever message I send out on my platforms. Shout out. All right, so not gonna lie, the microwave and the fridge in the room kind of coming in pretty clutch, okay? I just got home. I'm about to crash and take a nap. I might start waking up earlier for real. So yesterday I was up at 6 in the morning. Y'all, I really felt like I was awake forever. <laughs> like, I kid you not, I took a nap. I checked the clock. It was only like 1 in the afternoon. I felt like I controlled time for a second. I was like, what? Like, it felt good. Maybe the issue is not the fact that we can't hang as we get older. Maybe it's the fact that we don't want to hang. Like, I have a lot of friends that go to sleep early and wake up early. Shout. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to always go hard for that late night around deep shit and then wake up at two in the afternoon type of vibe like i'm gonna always stand by that because my creativity flows really well at night but also having more time in the day to do what i need to do too like you know so i'm gonna just mix it up if i got something i gotta do in the morning maybe wake up earlier i don't know i don't think i'm ever gonna have a consistent sleep schedule and i'm okay with that because i just like doing whatever i want just got home gym workout was good it was slight just three quick machines and then i walked on the treadmill about to eat something and i'm about to do something i don't usually do which i need to start doing which is just relax like i'm not going rushing cam i'm not going to sit here and go here and there i'm going to sit here and watch tv and do nothing and let my phone charge and relax it's that simple 
that should not be a foreign concept to me i don't know why i say it like it is and don't get me wrong i do relax but i'm just always doing something and i'm trying to break that habit and that mentality i was talking to my videographer about it always feeling like you need to be doing something that's not healthy like <laughs> that's not healthy feeling like you're running out of time needing to be in overdrive like i just started vibing <laughs> and I'm finally starting to feel it where I'm like okay whatever I got done is what I got done but also I'm starting to see results of what I'm doing which is really great I think also because I'm seeing the results I'm less concerned about my success because I just I already know it's on the way like I always believed in myself but when you really start seeing it you're like oh I ain't got nothing to worry about but you have to have that faith in yourself to know that it's just gonna come regardless so whether you're seeing results or not, you got to know that you could relax. You're good. <laughs> you're good, baby. Like, I know what it's like to be stressed out. I'm not a fan of that. I'll talk to y'all.